from Israel, where Israeli authorities and families there are preparing for Hamas's expected release of another round of hostages today. This comes after the first group were freed on Friday. In total, 24 people were released Friday, among them 13 Israelis, 10 Thai nationals, and one Filipino citizen, the International Red Cross, helping bring those hostages out of Gaza and into Israel. 39 Palestinian prisoners now, were also set free. Now, Hamas did not release any Americans in this initial round, but on Friday, President Biden said that the U.S. will not stop until Americans are freed, and it is his hope and expectation that that will happen soon. Meantime, this morning, as part of that temporary pause in fighting, hundreds of aid trucks have headed into Gaza to bring in badly needed supplies. So clearly there's a lot to get to this morning, including our conversation with a cousin of two of those hostages just released. But we do want to begin with the very latest on the ground now in Israel. NBC's Aaron McLaughlin is there for us again in Tel Aviv. Aaron, what can you tell us? Well, the ceasefire appears to be holding, Peter. We expect the release of more hostages and Palestinians today following yesterday's successful exchange. And this morning, we're seeing just these heartwarming scenes of families reunited, including nine-year-old Ohad Munder rushing into his father's arms for the first time in 49 days. Now, Ohad, his mother, and his grandmother were among the 13 Israeli hostages released yesterday. And last night here in Tel Aviv, there was an emotional gathering full of tears and dancing, dancing in celebration, tears for everything that has been lost. And then in the occupied West Bank, also celebrations at the release of 39 Palestinians from Israeli prisons. Meanwhile, in Gaza, relief, relief yesterday, more than 130 aid trucks crossed over from Egypt, badly needed supplies, although the Israeli military Military there warning the Palestinians not to return to their homes in the north, saying this ceasefire is temporary and the war is not over. Peter. Aaron, as the ceasefire appears to be holding, that is the good news. We do expect, as you noted, more aid to Gaza and more hostages to be freed. Expected to happen as early as today. What more do we know about the status of that? Well, a diplomat with knowledge of this process tells NBC News that at least 13 Israeli hostages are expected to be released today, although the Israeli government is not providing the list of names just yet, given just how fragile this process is, Peter. Aaron McLaughlin with the very latest from Israel. Aaron, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.